Uh, I'd just like to share another story of someone I've had the privilege of uh, playing with and getting to know over the last couple of years, who for me, uh, you know, I think signifies passion on the cricket field. And, and no, I mean, a lot of times people come here and expect me to talk about, uh, you know, Tendulkar and Lakshman and Ganguly and Kumbles. And they're all great cricketers and I've played with a lot of them and they all, you know, had some amazing qualities. But the story that I like to tell is, um, is about Praveen Tambe. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of him over the last couple of years at the IPL. And Praveen, uh, you know, was a, a budding yeah, sort of leg spinner as a 20-year-old. And uh, he played 20 years of cricket in the Maidans in Mumbai, uh, never getting an opportunity to actually represent Mumbai at any level, no first-class level, uh, no junior level, nothing. Uh, Praveen Tambay didn't get a single opportunity to play any game. But he kept bowling, he kept playing in every single game. And that's really, really hard. You know, believe me, when you have to go and play in some of the grounds in the Maidans and do it constantly, day in, day out, year after year, year after year, uh, it is, gets extremely hard, it gets really difficult. And you need to have an, a different kind of drive to be able to do that. But Praveen did that. And a couple of years ago, we... Uh, we were looking for a leg spinner. We were looking for a leg spinner to play in the Rajasthan Royals team. Uh, and Praveen came to our nets. You know, Praveen came to our nets. And, you know, I heard one of the younger guys actually say, you know, who's this uncle who's come to our nets? And, uh, and Praveen was 41 years old at that stage. He was 41 years old. And we decided to pick, uh, we decided to pick Praveen Tambe in our squad. I got a call the next day from uh, our CEO saying, what are you doing? You've picked a 41-year-old guy. Are you crazy? I mean, you know, we're the Rajasthan Royals. We're supposed to promote young players. And I said, no. I mean, you know, there's something in this, this guy that, that, you know, me and the other coaches had seen, uh, you know, that we believed in. And uh, for the next, uh, for the whole IPL, for the next year and, and, and a bit, actually, Praveen didn't get an opportunity to play in the team. Now, what was really fascinating for me was Praveen's attitude. In, in that year, year and a half that he actually sat out and didn't get an opportunity to play in the 11. He spent all his time speaking to other players in the team. He would always go up to someone like a Brad Hodge or a, or a Shane Watson or, or come up to someone like me and talk about his bowling. He spent hours and hours practicing. He would be the first to take the cricket ball at 41, the last to leave it. He would be at every single practice session whether it was optional or not. He was there every single day. He was there at every single gym training session. Like uh, Rahul said, he even tried to attempt the bleep test. Not with much success, but he attempted it. And when he finally got the opportunity to play in the Champions League and became a great success, and then had an, another amazing year in the IPL, you know, I think for me it was a phenomenal story. And when he won his first Man of the Match award, he actually came back into the dressing room and he was weeping. He was truly crying. Uh, and for me, that is passion. I mean, you hear about great stories and great people, but to play 20 years without no recognition, to just keep playing in, you know, in gully cricket, in Maidan cricket, to still have the desire and the hunger to keep doing it again and again, to have the attitude to come into an environment that gives you the opportunity to learn and grow and improve, and to grab it with both hands as a 41-year-old, was, I think, a great lesson of passion to so many of the young players who are 18, 19, 20, 21 in our team, you, you know, looking out to make a career. And I think that for me was, you know, probably one of the greatest lessons in And I think that's, you know, it's, it's, it's such a recurring theme in, in what we've seen Rahul say, uh, I've seen Rahul do in, in Ruhana and what she does, in the performances that we've seen, that, you know, I think if you have a passion for something and if you have if you do something that you truly love and enjoy. And I've, I've been lucky in the sense that I was able to make what was a, a real passion for me, uh, my career. It's, it became my profession for so many years. Uh, and, and I think that is really important. If you can find out what your passion is and pursue it. I know that's not always easy. And it's, it sometimes takes a lot of courage to be able to do that because there are always easier options at times. Uh, they, they, you know, you can always be tempted to do the simple thing. You can always be tempted to go on a path uh, that is traveled by most. To take a path that is, you know, less traveled takes a lot of courage. Probably takes a lot of patience as well. You know, as we've seen in someone like Praveen Tambe, it took him, you know, his success wasn't overnight. A lot of people said, oh, that's overnight success. That's 25 years of success. Taking 25 years to work hard, starting as a 15-year-old to actually, you know, become a success. 
Uh, so it's going to take a lot of time, it's probably going to take a lot of patience, a lot of sacrifice as well, you know, a sacrifice of, of time, of, you know, of, of spending so much time doing what you're doing. Uh, a sacrifice sometimes of making a sacrifice of uh, a financial sacrifice. A lot of times when you pursue your passion, it might not necessarily be uh, a passion that uh, gives you uh, the financial security that you hope for and you probably crave, crave for. But if you want to make a difference, as we've seen so many of these kids do, uh, and you see the kind of difference that they are making, I think you need to follow your passion uh, and follow it in whatever you do. And I think that's the great thing about what I think a lot of uh, the DFC has taught, what I'm sure will teach a lot of these young kids. When they see what they have created and see what they've done, uh, it's come through sheer passion of really enjoying what they do. And I hope that they will be able to pass on this message, as I'm sure their stories will, that if you really want to pursue something and you're really passionate about it, uh, that's what you should look to pursue because they'll never have to work another day in your life.